tell me your testimony of what you've experienced uh, as a result of the deliverance ministry. Okay, so when I first was seeking deliverance, I was mainly having a problem with um, anxiety. Mm -hmm. I had had um, irritable bowel syndrome and I had been needing medicine for anxiety, like to sleep and things like that. And just like this constant state of paranoia. And I had just a slew of different medical things going on. Mm -hmm. And since I gone through deliverance, I don't have anything wrong with me anymore. I'm 100% healed of, of everything that I had things. going on. And then that's just physically, but spiritually, I was having a hard time reading my Bible. Um, I had been leading worship. And every time I led worship, I was in my head. I was nervous beforehand. You still lead worship? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And I had just, I was not clear. I had no clarity. I was confused, tired all the time. When I did read my Bible, I didn't understand it. And since then, God used my deliverance process to teach me um, not only about his word and about him, but about some of the things that I got delivered from so that I wouldn't keep falling into the same yeah. traps over and over and over again. And he's brought me into such a close relationship with him. And when I leave worship now, it's, it's like night and day difference. Like I'm able to worship with my whole heart, with my whole mind, with my my whole being rather than parts of me yeah. where like one part of me is dealing with fear of what people are going to think and fear of what's going to go wrong and what's going to happen next. And now wow. it's just freedom. Praise God. That's so good. That's awesome. Yeah. So irritable bowel syndrome, anxiety, uh, fear, uh, you said like paranoia, constant state mm -hmm. of paranoia. Um, what else? Anything else? Pain. Physical uh, pain. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. As my my stomach always hurt, and just this constant state of like feeling run down, feeling tired, being depressed, not having good self confidence, just um, this like nasty sloth like state where my house was always dirty, my my bills were never getting paid, like nothing was organized, nothing. My marriage was just blah like everything this has affected every area of your life literally like. every area wow. of my life <laughs> <laughs> praise god that's yeah. so good so your feedback um to others who are considering uh deliverance did you know that you needed deliverance before i mean once it was introduced to you probably but before like did you know that you, that that was available or? No, I did not know anything wow. about deliverance. I didn't know that it was a thing. I had no scope of it whatsoever. And I actually was mostly afraid of it when I was introduced to it a little bit because I had like only watched scary movies. <laughs> sure. Yeah. And so my scope of demons was like exorcist. Yeah and not at all what it was actually like yeah and um i didn't find out anything that it was even a real thing until i went to women's bible study one night and patty was teaching and she was like well i was gonna teach you about this thing but god decided to have me teach on fear tonight instead wow and she just like told all about what it was and that was when i was like she because in the teaching she gave part of her testimony mm -hmm heart deliverance and I was like I don't know what that is but I need it wow I need you to do that with me so Patty's holding the camera right now so <laughs> for those watching it's pretty exciting praise God so very good so um, yeah is there anything that you'd like to share with anybody that uh, might be considering it conflicted fearful even uh, of, of what to expect with deliverance um, I would say if you're considering it do it and don't let anything stop you from it and it might seem like it's a process and you might have thoughts of why is this taking so long why isn't it how I think it's going to be and my process was 
where I learned the most in my whole entire life. And if God had robbed me of that process, I don't know that I would be the same person. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. I mean, that, that you're experiencing all that you're experiencing. Well, it was uh, good to see you tonight. She's a surprise visitor at uh, one of our guest ministers tonight. So good to see you. Praise God for your uh, freedom and breakthrough. And uh, just keep sharing your testimony, okay? Yeah. All thanks. right. Congratulations. Thank you. All right.